And an oil expert has called on the federal government, security agencies and other regulatory authorities to investigate oil sector and clamp down on all filling stations across the country selling above the approved pump price. The persistent scarcity of petrol and increase in pump price is already taking its toll on the citizens. For weeks, motorists in Kaduna State have been having a hectic time at fuel stations. They spend several hours on the queue to buy the product at 300 to 350 naira per litre, while black marketers sell at 400 naira to 500 naira. And this oil expert and elder statesman engineer Mohammed Kailani blames saboteurs for what he calls an artificial fuel scarcity. He calls for a probe into the oil sector. NMPC has been importing fuel payments. And when they give it to the private depots, they sell it. Government has not increased payments up to today. They give them at 148 naira per liter. But what they do is uh, the depot sell it at 260 something to the independent marketers. Then when they bring it to the station, they will be selling it at exorbitant prices. We are not helping ourselves. We are calling on the security agents that are monitoring DPR. DPR must have to wake up. So, we Nigerians also must have to help ourselves. When you see a filling station selling, tell the authorities and you make sure you close that station. Don't burn it, but make sure you say you do. Government has not increased the pump price. He laments the irregularities in the downstream sector while calling for immediate arrest and prosecution of oil thieves across the country. Tampolo came in yesterday, it was on the papers, that uh, we don't know whether it is true that EFCC are shielding those thieves again. If that is true, I think the government should look into the, to it to make sure that because we are operating a mono economy, we are dependent on oil. The agriculture, which is supposed to be the mainstay, is lack, lacking behind, lagging behind. So we hope the government will do something as soon as possible to make sure that uh, those that are involved shielding oil thieves should be brought to book. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.